A giant art installation is underway right now in the Westlake District. Portraits of Hope is debuting, The Spheres at MacArthur Park. CBS 2's Greg Mills is there live now to show us the very colorful event. Greg? Andrea, very colorful. In fact, looks like a giant Easter egg display here. <laughs> I got to tell you, I've covered a lot of stories here at MacArthur Park. Never have I seen so many people stop their cars, get out, bring the cameras over, and take a picture. For some, MacArthur Park has become a place to avoid. But driving by today, Boomer Williams just had to stop and capture what caught his eye. This is my first time shooting color on my new camera, so this is a perfect opportunity. It's the latest art project from the Massey Brothers, Ed and Bernie of Los Angeles. They're behind giant art projects where you least expect them. We had just finished doing public laundromats in New York City. From laundromats in the Big Apple to Big Mac in the heart of L.A. Most would agree MacArthur Park can use a little color, or in this case, a lot. Art to me doesn't mean much if it's just locked away behind museum doors. It has to be where people are. Today, the mayor took a unique tour of the project, officially called the Spheres at MacArthur Park. And it's ever-changing. The spheres are light enough that wind actually changes the color palette on the lake naturally. And it's about to get a whole lot bigger. Look how colorful this is now with only 150 of these spheres in the lake. Wait till you see it Tuesday. It's going to be jam-packed with 2,500 of these. And I can't wait to come back on Tuesday. So there you go. Thousands of people have worked on this project, painting these huge rubbery plastic balls with what's called flexible paint, including Cynthia Cuellar from South Los Angeles. One of mine is out there. No, I'm not sure which one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Will you recognize it if you see it? I hope so. <laughs> They're so alike. And there's a message behind these colorful spheres floating on the lake. These colors have a way of um, lifting people's spirits up. Yeah, I think she's right, and uh, this display will be here for about a month, and then each of these will find a new home in places like women's shelters and hospitals. Reporting live from Westlake District, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News. All right.